Hey there and welcome back to the second part of the ultimate platformer tutorial guide or the, whatever you want to call that. It's basically just platforming for Game Maker and all the stuff which you need to know. So this is where we left off last time. So as you can see we can go left right and then I changed a little bit uh, the positions so we can actually demonstrate a point so today we're gonna do three things first of all getting stuck so you do something like this and like uh, and I'm stuck <laughs> so this is how that actually can happen pretty fast and then you just ah come on what's happening then the second part is maybe you're thinking like hey I don't want to use those stupid instances I want to paint with me tiles so for example you have a tile set and you do just want to do something like this so here this is tile set one and you want to uh, have that as uh, well a barrier of entry or basically your your ground which you're bouncing off so your walls so we're going to do this quickly as well and then the last part is jumping so jumping around and um, having some gravity and while well, pressing the spacebar for the jump all right so let's roll the intro da -da -da -da. i'm one up indie <laughs> i'm not going to do this uh today so finished so subscribe and like and so on if you want so let's go into the player and actually uh, do the magic of getting the tile set ready so for example what we do we need to grab the tile set so this is layer tile map get id and then well how this thing is called on the left side it's called tiles one so we just grab that into a variable and then we can actually use it so for example for move and collide we can actually array that dude and input multiple parameters so basically we can go hybrid with walls and tile maps and then for example once we start off it should work so as you can see i'm getting stuck sooner <laughs> which is definitely not better but it does work all right so this is the way that goes but it, as you can see it does work it didn't work in the past so there were tons of issues with that so just take that with a grain of salt so let's actually toggle all the cool stuff just to make it look neater and then uh, let's do some other painting here so something like this and then later on i show you um, that it does work also so why did we get stuck actually because i was kind of foreshadowing so if you for example go into our player idol and this is what normally most sprite artists do they have the sprite in the center sometimes it does not happen so for example this dude is definitely uh, more on the left side and we have to go a little bit up so it's not before it was a bottom center but now we go what was it 30 uh, 30 60 here you go yeah and then this is then sort of at the center and then we just apply that to all our sprites this is the beauty of having and using the inspector you can just you know open the inspector and then mark all of them and then boom they get all the same stuff then once we start it it should already be better so as you can see we're not getting stuck which is great but as a rule of thumb the best thing is actually to have a different collision mask so the collisions are being set by one sprite and all the stuff which is you know normally set to the sprite index is just you know um, some fancy drawing on top so for that for example we have um, let's say a hitbox which is then with uneven numbers so 11 of width and then we put it at the bottom center and then we just apply it to our object player so we do this here then same as sprite now as player hitbox and then um, we will do a little bit of clipping now but because the hitbox is smaller but of course this is then later on a more convenient thing because it doesn't really matter uh, what kind of uh, sprite changes we do the hitbox will always stay the same this is just you know uh, for understanding all right so we got uh, our tile sets ready and our uh, other stuff so the last thing which is actually still missing is well jumping and gravity so the first thing which is then also happening in the, the block 
of theirs, we need to check out, hey, is there actually ground below us? So what we do is we say if place meeting, so let's say plus one or plus two pixels of our wall parent, or we can actually input both of them. So this is kind of a new functionality in quotations new. And then we're just checking like, hey, is ground below us, then our y value, so move y, is zero. For now, nothing has changed because we actually never used it, so we just apply it right now. But of course, now nothing is actually changing. But of course, we say like, hey, is there no ground below us? What's happening? Well, then we need to fall. So we just say move is plus equals plus equals well our fall speed which we haven't defined so for that we go into our create event of our player and add for gravity fall speed i don't know if it's small pixels i don't know 0 0.3 was actually kind of accurate and then also a jump speed this is then the counter force upwards so this is gravity falling down this is then well gravity falling in quotations upwards so we just use first of all our fall speed just to demonstrate it because our dude was hovering before and now we can actually put him up here and now he should fall and as you can see it does fall zoom in are we hovering no it's perfect great so this is definitely working but now we need our last part is well we want to jump so let's say we are on ground well then we can jump off so we just say like hey vk key keyboard check so we're just checking like hey are we pressing the spacebar or whatever key you want and then uh well what do we do our move y is not updated so plus equals just updating it it's actually set to the value of well our jump speed which is a minus value because minus means upwards and then once we start it it's all finished so as you can see and looking good of course the animation is looking a little bit goofy because we just have idle or move then <laughs> uh, we are reusing that part and as you can see it does also work in uh, the tile set so everything is nice so the last part is just finishing up and applying our object fall jump to this ninja roll something whatever you want to call it which is looking pretty sweet so we just say like hey um are we uh on the ground which could be done with that part so we just this is the one up indies foolproof uh, method of <laughs> creating your own mess so i just say like are we on ground and then we say let's say for example false so this is just a temporary variable and then let's say we are on the ground so we just say true yup or for example we are not on the ground so we are falling then it's false and then we just say like, hey, we are not on the ground. So if we are not on the ground, so basically we are falling upwards or in quotations downwards, then we just change our sprite index to fall. So here, fall, jump. And then this is how that works. That's pretty much it. And then this is overwriting, well, this part because here we just go say idle or walk but of course if we are in the air we're just overriding that and then let's check it out and then we do our ninja flips here yes so this is pretty cool uh let's zoom in yes perfect so this is definitely looking nicer of course that's actually working you know i'm not going to complain it's all working fine so um that was then for the last part and next one we will do falls through platforms and uh, double jumps and then uh, moving or maybe moving platforms something in between there alrighty that was it then from my side have a good one one up indie